Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. from some of her uh, family and extended family members. And we're actually standing right in front of the Planet Fitness, which was uh, where she was going to seek help in those last moments of her life. And we've been seeing a lot of people coming through, both family members and even random community members who said they heard the news and just wanted to come and uh, express their support, bringing by flowers. Uh, we did uh, speak with the family this morning. They told us that they were um, obviously still very distraught, too much so to speak with us on camera, but they're saying that she had, quote, a heart of gold and that they're still trying to make sense of why something like this would happen to her. Seems horrible. Manteca residents expressed sorrow. Right there. I yep. just heard a bunch, a bunch of cops and then I looked out and I seen a bunch of lights. And, and shock following the shooting death of 23-year-old Ashley Waters, who was shot and killed at this Yosemite Avenue shopping center Sunday night. Very young, I think very pretty. I have young kids too, so I have a daughter, so very heartbreaking. According to police, Waters was waiting in a car outside the Rite Aid to pick up her boyfriend from work. That's when police think the suspects tried to rob her and she was shot. The suspects left the scene and Waters drove to get help at a Planet Fitness just a few storefronts away. After the shooting in Rite Aid, uh, the victim drove, I, I believe, a short distance, got out of her vehicle, and that's when she collapsed in the doorway. Waters ultimately died. Nearby workers say police arrived shortly after the shooting. My son, um, he works graveyard, and I live right across the street where I could see everything. and. Um, he said, there's something that happened, and plus I heard a bunch of cops and stuff. Police were able to get a license plate for the suspected car involved. An alert was sent out to law enforcement across the area. The Alameda County Sheriff's Office says they spotted the car, which turns out was stolen. A chase started, and two suspects died when the car went head into a tree and burst into flames. A 14-year-old girl in the backseat survived and is currently being questioned by investigators. Inside the car, a gun. Investigators have not confirmed if this was the murder weapon. I just hate to, to imagine what else, you know, could have happened to a community member. And while we never wanted to end with anybody, you know, being deceased, um, this this is just one of those things where you 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 feel like you you just can't make it up all the things that took place in a 24 hour period and because there is so much going on with this situation, we're told that this is a multi-agency investigation as of now. Uh, Manteca police tell us that they're still going around trying to collect whatever evidence and surveillance that can help them get all the details in this case. For now, reporting live in Manteca, Josie Hart, KCRA 3 News. Family members say Ashley Waters used to live in Manteca, but had just recently moved to Stockton with her boyfriend. This is the second homicide in Manteca in less than a week.
Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.